What's going on everyone? My name is Victor and today I'm going to be teaching you how to replicate a very popular TikTok Instagram Reels effect that is basically just a match cut, but we're going to spice it up. We'll be incorporating movement to disguise that match cut and I'm going to be showing you my Adobe Premiere workflow for it as well as what the raw footage looked like and how I filmed it. So I filmed this video for Jake Dalton who's a two-time Olympic gymnast and he was going to use that video as an ad for Sperry Shoes. So we want to do this popular effect but also make it very professional so the idea was to start by filming the shoes in a gym and then back up to reveal him in I believe what is called an iron cross and then he was going to fall down onto the shoes change outfits and now he's wearing the shoes so the first thing that I did that I've never done before was tilt my camera vertically and film it all like that and I shot it in 4k I know you could shoot 4k and then just crop off the sides but we knew we we're going to need vertical so I just figured might as well be able to frame it like this and keeping in mind that I will be losing a little off the top and a little off the bottom. I also filmed it all handheld and all in one take and this effect is not done with a tripod or at least not my version. So I start by filming the shoes and then I back up and I'm filming Jake doing the iron cross and dropping down. And now once he drops down, I'm still not moving. I am trying to line up lines in the background so I know how it's framed and where I need to stay. And of course there's little handheld movements, but I'm just trying to keep that framing there. So I'm still filming and Jake is changing and then he comes back, he jumps up and then back down as if he's landing from that iron cross and then he walks off. Now that I've shown you that, let's hop into Adobe Premiere and I'll show you my workflow. So the first thing I did was import my footage and then I went to File, New, Sequence, go to Settings. I made sure I was on 23.976 per second and then I changed the pixel size to 1080 by 1350, which is the four x five Instagram format, that vertical video. You can use that for TikTok too, but if you want to take up the whole screen for TikTok, then you're gonna wanna do 900 by 1600, which is the nine by 16 format. Now I hit OK and drag my footage over into the sequence. Since I filmed this vertically, the first order of business is to change the rotation to negative 90 so now it's orientated properly. And since I filmed this in 4K, I had to scale it down to my liking but also making sure that there are no black edges. I don't need the audio file so I just right clicked on the clip and then went to unlink, select that audio file and just go ahead and delete it. Now trim the clip to where you want the video to start and then scrub to where you want that first clip to end. So in this case, it's when the subject's feet almost intersect with the shoes that are sitting there. So go ahead and make a cut there. Now make a cut where you want the second clip to start and in my case it's when the subject's feet are starting to touch the pad that he's landing on. I return to the beginning of the first clip to move the position of the shoes to be centered and then on the bottom of the frame and then I turn on the position keyframes. I move forward to the part of the video where the subject is in the iron cross and then I change the position to reveal him and not the shoes at all. And that will have set a keyframe automatically. Now I move forward to the point where he's just about to drop and then I add another keyframe without changing any position. And then move to the end of that first clip and then change that Y position again to where the shoes are almost in frame. Now at the beginning of the second clip, turn on your position keyframes if they aren't already on. And then also make sure that that X position matches the X position of the first clip. So now we're going to change the Y position on that first frame of the second clip to almost match the end of that first clip. So you can go back and forth just by hitting the arrow keys to try and match them up. What I did was I chose lines in the background to try and match. So in this case, a brown line that's going across. But you have to keep in mind that if the camera is following him down, then that line's going to continue to go up. So instead of being lined up perfect, you're going to have to change it to where it looks like the camera is still following the subject down. And then I move forward a few more frames to the impact of the landing and then change that Y position again. So now it should all be one smooth motion. You can go ahead and play that back and it should look pretty seamless. And for the last steps, I just trimmed up the ending to where I want it to be, highlighted both those clips, right click and nested them. So now it's one clip. So that will now allow us to go and add warp stabilizer onto it. I changed the percent to 2%. That's kind of my go-to value because it's just very subtle, just enough to get rid of the harsh shakes and hopefully not add any jello-like effect to the frame. And that is how you do that popular TikTok and Instagram match cut, but a little more professionally. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.